Good afternoon, good morning. This is Mark Johnson from Loyalty 360. Hope everyone's happy, safe, and well. Want to welcome you to our Loyalty Expo preview series. In this series, we will hear from those who will be presenting at the 2024 Loyalty Expo in Orlando from June 4th to the 6th. Today, we had the pleasure of speaking with Amanda Jamerson. She's a Senior Director, Hilton Honors Member Experience, and Denise Holt. She's a Senior Partner or of Strategy and Experience Research and Insights at Faden. Uh, thank you very much, both of you, for taking the time to talk with us today. Thanks, Mark. Happy to be here. Excellent. Yeah, thanks for having us. Absolutely, for sure. First off, we'd like to start these on a more personal level. So uh, I know we've interviewed both of you in the past, so looking forward to the discussion. But Amanda, for those who may not know you, uh, it'd be great to get a little bit about your uh, a brief introduction, not only Hilton, but you know, what you do within the organization, your role within the organization, and uh, maybe a brief history of, of, of you know, your background, some of your experience pre-Hilton. Absolutely. Uh, we'll, we'll start with Hilton. <laughs> so Hilton is a leading global hospitality company with over 23 world-class brands spanning 7,600 properties in 126 countries around the world, countries and territories. Um, as, a, as a company, we're dedicated to fulfilling its, our founding vision of filling the world with light and warmth of hospitality um, and making sure that we've welcomed over 3 billion guests uh, in our 100-year history. Uh, and last year, we were named number one best place to work, um, both by Great Places to Work and Fortune, which was a huge, um, huge thing that we were proud of last year. Um, from a Hilton Honors perspective, just to double click there, uh, we are a trusted loyalty program that um, supports over 190 million members worldwide during their travels. Um, and really, at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we are inspiring travel, elevating the travel that they have, and rewarding our members um, for everything they do with us. And so, Hilton Honors strives to make travel more valuable, flexible, and personalized, no matter who you are. Um, so, that's a little bit about Hilton and our program overall. Um, I've been with Hilton, it'll be 13 years in June by the time we hit conference, which is really exciting. Um, in that time, I've supported marketing, e-commerce, and then loyalty roles. And it's helped me understand a good portion of the business and, and why the loyalty piece is so important and how it supports the larger enterprise overall. Um, prior to Hilton, I worked in retail, um, so working with JCPenney, doing customer experience, so using data to inform how we built our websites, how we put products in front of customers, and, you know, prior to Hilton, which was a while ago, retail was doing personalization in a way that other verticals just weren't, and so um, I love the role that I'm in today, bringing myself closer to the customer and having that data help us make sure that we're showing up well. Um, to meet our customer needs as part of our program. So that's a little bit about me. Thanks, Mark. Yes, absolutely. And Ace, over to you. Can you tell us a little bit about Faden, uh, kind of how you support customer loyalty efforts of uh, leading brands? And would love, to obviously, to know a little bit more about your role with the company. Sounds great, of course. Um, so your audience would probably know us as ICF Next. We are now an independent company named Faden. <laughs> Uh, we have a new name, but we're not new at what we do, um, which your audience would know. Uh, we have an end-to-end -end loyalty solutions, including market-leading strategy and analytics services. We have our award-winning tally technology platform, which really underpins some of the largest and most beloved programs across the globe, like Hilton. So we're excited to be um, be talking with Hilton at this year's Loyalty 360 Expo about the work that we've been doing together. And at Faden, I really, I lead our strategy experience research and insights team. Our service offerings really focus on loyalty as an outcome. We go beyond the basics of points in a program to spark participation and really cultivate those deeper, more emotional, either customer brand or employee brand relationships. So that's really important to us. And we develop strategies for personalized omni-channel communications and experiences across the customer and employee journey and that full loyalty life cycle. And it's important to us that we do everything um, being powered by data and really grounded in empathy for whoever that end user is. Okay. So that's a bit about us. Excellent. Uh, looking forward to the presentation. I know we're going to be talking about empowered frontline and customer care employees and how critical they are into delivering an exceptional guest experience. Amanda, can you tell uh, uh, our listeners uh, about the Redesign Hilton Honors Campaign Program and its purpose? Yes, absolutely. So I'd like to start first with a little bit of history because that always helps to understand where we've come from and where we're going. So this program, uh, pre-pandemic, did exist. 
I was called Hilton Honors Champion. It was very focused in our on-property channel and ensuring that our benefits were delivered um, to meet our customer expectations, specifically around the on-property components of the program. Um, and what we did coming back from the pandemic is we uh, really leaned in and began to partner with Spaden. And after we heard the emotional loyalty uh, webinar that we had, uh, excuse me, um, presentation that they did last year, it really sparked something for me to say, one, are we doing this well? We know we need to revive it for our program to make sure that it's coming to life, but also could we think about it differently? And so while this program is still functioning in certain areas of the world as it is today, we knew we needed to pause um, and make sure that we could amplify the impact of our program and make sure that we have a similar objectives globally, that we had some sort of global framework in place, but still had flexibility um, where there was regional nuance that we had to consider. Um, so if you think about a champion, right, champions are designated across different customer facing channels. So while we started and the program has existed on property, we're expanding that to our call center agents, as well as if you think about in the future, we could have anyone that is customer facing. So think sales channels, right? There are other channels that are also customer facing that we think this could have impact for. And so the idea is that they will promote the internal, they will have the best internal understanding of what our program is and, and help rally the team members around them to ensure that people know, understand, and can deliver the program as expected. So many times, customer facing employees have a million things they have to remember. So we know we want to keep it simple um, and ensure that they feel a sense of loyalty to this program as well. And so how we make sure that they are educated, informed, and get to also experience the program does have an impact on what then they can what they can then deliver. And so we're really excited about this new framework. And Denise and her team have done an amazing job helping support from a strategic perspective as well as just an informed research perspective. Um, using the emotional loyalty work that they've done up to date. Okay. Uh, Denise, in what way does this program spark emotional loyalty with team members, uh, which then obviously can lead to an elevated guest experience before, during, and after the stay for the customer? Yeah, for, for those um, in your audience who might have attended the Emotional Loyalty Masterclass um, that Amanda referenced uh, at last year's Loyalty 360 Expo, you know that our research was leading the industry in emotional loyalty over six years ago now. It's crazy how fast time flies. But um, not only have those key drivers of emotional loyalty withstood time, but they've also proven to be just as applicable to the employee brand relationship as they are to the customer brand relationship. So you heard Amanda talking about loyalty and employees being loyal. Um, employees being loyal to the brand is really, really important for longevity, for great guest experience. And so that's um, that's what really helps underpin the reasons why we connect guests. We need employees to understand um, the details of a loyalty program in order to deliver that experience in a really um, meaningful, personalized way to guests. But also we want to make sure we have empathy for those employees. And as Amanda was saying, there's so much on their plate that they're juggling to deliver a great experience. So how do we ensure that we're building out the right curriculum, the right moments to feed them information and feel that not only are we helping them to deliver a world-class experience, but we're also helping to build their own careers and have them feel a a pride and a sense of accomplishment in what they do with Hilton. And so that was really, really important. And so applying those emotional loyalty drivers to the employee audience absolutely helps you to be smart about the strategies that you that you bring forward. So this was a great opportunity with Hilton then to activate those drivers with the employee audience to make a difference with their team members. And as a result, um, Hilton, in partnership with Faden, uh, created a, straight, a strategic framework then to engage these honors champions that overlays those emotional loyalty drivers. So you'll have to attend the case study session to get the details, but we're excited to share them with you at the conference. Excellent. Looking forward to being in this session for sure. Uh, who would most benefit from attending the Hilton Faden session at the Expo, Denise? Um, I would say that anyone who is responsible for brand loyalty or CRM and relies on those customer facing employees to carry out that brand promise and really help to humanize the loyalty experience. So it'd be great for them. Excellent. And Amanda, what are a few key takeaways that attendees can expect to learn by attending the session at the conference? Absolutely. I think there are so many, but if we just focus on four, uh, I think key drivers of emotional loyalty and really understanding that. So we're going to reiterate some of the masterclass learnings that we had from last year that grounded us. 
um, guiding principles used uh, to form employee uh, engagement for in program design is also really critical. And we think that'll be hugely impactful, especially if you're new and, and just starting to think about this in your program or you're refreshing your programs, really important. Um, I think third would be how to create a strategic framework for employee engagement that's grounded in emotional loyalty. So piecing those things together. And finally, how leaning into emotional loyalty is an integral part um, to help build stronger connections between a company and its team members to elevate that member and customer experience. So I think those would be the four big takeaways that we hope um, everyone feels as they walk out of the room. Excellent. Looking forward to the session. I will be there uh, with boots on and uh, I'm always intrigued with the work that, that Faden does. Uh, they do obviously a, a great work in the, the entertainment uh, hospitality arena. And I'm a Hilton Honors guy, even though I did get bumped down to gold because I did miss the cutoff by like two last year, but that's fine. I still love Hilton. It's awesome. So uh, we will uh, see both of you at the session coming up. It'd be great. Sounds great. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you so much, Mark. Absolutely. And everyone uh, listening, make sure uh, you visit the Loyalty Expo website to learn more about the session and make sure you uh, register for this session at the conference. It's going to be great. Uh, doing a lot of great uh, work, very significant work in the industry and uh, Faden and Hilton continue to set the bar. So thank you very much, everyone, for listening and look forward to seeing you in Orlando in about three weeks. Bye.